Hi everyone, this is Willie Crawford and I'd like to thank you for joining us on today's webinar where over for the next hour or so uh, we're going to teach you how to build a full-time online income even if you have no website, no list, no product, and, and no name recognition. We're going to teach you to do that by teaching you how to uh, share content. As you can see on the slide what the title of the presentation is about today. I apologize for getting started a little late. I was having some technical problems myself. Um, and I assume you guys can all hear me okay if you can. Can I get you to type yes or why in the question box? Okay, you said you can, uh, Will? Okay, excellent, excellent. So we'll go ahead and get started then. Uh, we're going to show you basically how to earn a decent living from the Internet. Even if you hate selling, uh, we all sell every day in all of our interactions, but there's still a bit of a stigma in some of our minds attached to the term selling. And so uh, now you don't even need to sell unless you just want to. And, and so we'll show you how to do that just by doing what you do every day in the course of uh, hanging out online on the social media sites and, and things like that. Uh, so I'll begin uh, by introducing uh, us panelists, and I'll start with myself. Okay. That's me, a uh, small picture of me there. Uh, I started my online business back in 1996, which was six years before I retired from the United States Air Force. So I basically had built a full-time business uh, by the time I retired from my prior career. And uh, so all I've ever done outside the military is running an online business. Um, in, in the military, I traveled over 47 different countries. I speak five languages semi-fluently. I can understand, be understood, and probably another dozen. And I, I write computer code and um, PHP and uh, a number of other languages. I'm married, have three grandchildren. I just posted some of their pictures on uh, Facebook today, as a matter of fact. Um, this slide's busy. I don't expect you to be able to read it, but it says basically I've created 150 plus products. Most of those are information products, ebooks, audios, videos. I uh, posted live seminars where I've recorded seminars. I've created some software programs that I sell. So about 150 products. I've been selling affiliate products since 1996, which was before they called them affiliate products. I've hosted my own live seminars. Uh, I started a number of speaking careers. They're fairly famous marketers, in fact. And I've personally spoken at over 70 seminars in the U.S., the U.K., Malaysia, and Singapore. I've hosted my own online radio show, which I'm still doing. I just don't do it as frequently as I used to. I brokered joint ventures, which is basically helping people to roll out products by finding partners that will promote their products to their list, and I get paid a commission for doing that. I've trained and certified maybe 20 other people in being joint venture brokers. I've done search engine optimization services for people like uh, Bob Proctor from the movie The Secret, but I did this way back in 2003, 2004, so I, I understand search engines quite well. I published newsletters since 1997, and I say newsletters because I publish about six now on a regular frequency, including a daily recipe newsletter. That's one of my best money makers, actually. I've built numerous subscriber databases over the years and numerous niches such as health and pets and fitness and all those things. And uh, recently, in the last couple of years, I've been selling mobile apps and other products and services to local businesses, uh, where, and I've, the other services include consulting. Basically, I teach local offline businesses how to leverage the power of the Internet to grow their businesses because people uh, tend to go to the Internet when they're looking for something rather than looking at the yellow pages anymore, so I teach local businesses how to divert some of their advertising dollars and spend it with us online marketers, basically. That's me in a nutshell, and uh, now I'm going to uh, help Heidi introduce herself. Hello, everyone, and thank you for being here today. Most of you know me from working with me through the help desk in Multibase, and we started Multibase um, almost a year ago in July, and we've made lots of progress, and we have a very vibrant community, many, um, you know, joint ventures have already been built, uh, members helping each other, and I'm very excited about this webinar today because Willie Crawford has a lot to teach us, and as well as Will Edwards, I mean, they're both uh, two people that I admire, so I'm very glad, you know, they're here with me today. Thank, well, you, thank you all for coming. And Will. 
Thank you, Willie. Um, can you hear me? Yes, you sound great. Ex excellent. Uh, I'm, I must say be before I uh, say a few words, uh, I feel like the, uh, the poor uh, relation here because uh, I, I've just learned, Willie, really, that you speak five languages and I, I already know that Heidi speaks four languages. So uh, I only speak two, that's English and rubbish. Uh -huh. um, but anyway, let me, let me say a few things about myself. I, I started <coughs> White Dove Books, which is my main site. It's not my only site, but it's my main site. And um, I've, I've tried to sort of stick to the old Zig Ziglar maxim, which of course was the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. That yeah. is the main thing. So, so I've stuck with this one project, even though um, I think I made mistakes. You know, this, this, this year is my 10th anniversary. Two th Christmas 2003, I started White Dove Books. So Christmas this year will be the 10th anniversary of that site. So I, I think I made mistakes in, uh, in choosing too, too broad. Uh, well, it, uh, it's, it's not a niche. You know, it's a market. Uh, personal development, and, but anyway, it was my passion, and, uh, and and I stuck with it, and was determined to to make it work. But a little bit about my background. My background was in IT, um, and uh, I I worked for a well the um, UK computer company, which was Apricot, of course. It no longer exists, but I was the technical manager there of Apricot International. So I enjoyed traveling around Europe, taking the Apricot message with me. It was really great fun in those days when uh, Apricot was expanding in the 80s. Um, but all, all through that, uh, that period, I, I, I always wanted to be a writer. Uh, and I always felt that one day I would be. And um, I, I would write, uh, write books and send them off to traditional publishers. And uh, they'd come back with rejection slips, you know. And yes. uh, and I'd won I'd wonder, you know, what's wrong? What's wrong with my manuscript? And uh, I'd uh, you know spend hours in in my room tweaking it and sending it off again, getting another rejection slip. And um, you know, the the web is the answer. It's the it's it's just um, a, a godsend for anybody who is a creator or originator of any kind of material, you know, whether, that, whether you're a writer, uh, and that first and foremost, I'm a writer, but where, if you're a musician, if, you, if you're good at videos or graphics, you know, the, the web is the answer because it enables you to, to bypass all of the traditional screening processes that go along with, you know, publishing and, and getting your music out there and so on. So, um, you know, when, when the web came along, I, I just recognized, I thought, you know, this, this is this is my opportunity. This, this is what I need to do, and and I rec I recognised pretty early on, you know, that things like uh, eBay and Amazon, when people go there, they go with a buyer's mindset. You know, that's yes. why you go to eBay. That's why you go to Amazon. But when you go to Google, it's for information. So largely, largely it's for information. And that's why, from the beginning, I always focused on giving stuff away. And that's why I built White Dove Books on giving stuff away. I actually paid people to write books for me, and I just gave them away, you know. And people thought it was nuts. I even had people uh, email me and say, you know, you're nuts. You're supposed to be uh, collecting a list and then, you know, make, making a list and giving this stuff away in the back end. Of course, I was building a list, but, um, but you know, I had a different uh, idea of, of uh, how to go about making money to, to most people. You know, I was giving away lots of good, free, quality content. And in those books were, I, I didn't get into affiliate marketing because uh, because my vision was always to grow my business through affiliates. So right from the outset, I was promoting my own products in those books. Um, and AdSense, I you know, stuck AdSense, and I did extremely well with AdSense, and, but uh, it's, it's in serious decline at the moment. But anyway, that was, uh, that was how I got going and, uh, and, and what I was doing. And then uh, a year or so, a year or so ago, the a thing came in called the cookie law in this country, the UK cookie law. It's, it's Europe-wide now, I believe. Yes. And um, that sort of had a major effect on, on the affiliate program. It meant that, uh, well, the, the law in this country, 
<clears throat> and, and in many other, because it's an EU directive in many right. other European countries, is that you are not allowed to set a cookie, let me say that again, you're not allowed to set a non-essential cookie without the explicit consent of the visitor. That's the law. So, so you know, that, that wrecked my idea for, um, well, I was already doing rebrandable books. But then Heidi came along, you know, answer to a prayer. <laughs> answer to a prayer I hadn't even made, but nevertheless, answer to a prayer. And when she explained the Loyalty Pays program to me, I was really, you know, blown sideways because it was the answer to my, uh, my rebrandable books issue with my affiliate program. But of course, you know, and it's an excellent solution to that. But, it, but it's also a great monetization opportunity in its own right. You know, people get paid a dollar straight away for just referring somebody. You know, if you're a premium member of this program, you get paid a dollar straight away as soon as somebody just signs up. I mean, that, you know, that's like a CPA program. Yes, and then, is. of course, when, yeah, yeah, and then, then when they upgrade their account, you get paid a recurring commission. So, you know, I'm, I was delighted when, when um, Heidi contacted me. And, uh, you know, uh, if for anybody listening who might be new to all of this stuff, uh, it's not complicated. You know, making money is not complicated. You just need targeted traffic. You need to understand what people want and then send them to matching offers. And if you can become a master at getting traffic, you know, you, 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 can, uh, you can win at this, this game. Absolutely. And uh, I, think, I think really I'd not come across a membership program like Loyalty Pays. You know, I'd not seen one quite like it, which enabled me to do what I wanted to do, you know, continue giving stuff away through affiliates, um, get them to rebrand my books so that they earn commission. You know, that, that was always my business model for, for growth. So I, I guess I've said enough, Willie. Um, I'll, I'll hand back to you now, and uh, if you need me, just, uh, you know, just shout and I'll, I'll pitch in. Okay. And, and near the end, I'm actually going to visit the Loyalty Pace site, and so there I would uh, welcome you and Heidi to uh, help me out. And, and we are, with that said, going to get into the early portion there, says so slides, let's get into the meat of things. My slides are running a little slow, but let's begin by defining affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is basically where you promote others' products using a referral link. You typically go over to a product creator site, you fill out a form, and with that form they send you a link uh, that you share, and when you share it, someone clicks on it, uh, the first thing it does is it plants a cookie actually on the other person's computer, and um, for those of you who don't understand cookies, it's a tiny bit of computer code that uh, the browser sort of stores on the browser's, the, the individual user's computer that uh, lets their behavior be tracked somewhat. It also tracks who referred them and, and all kinds of other things. And so it, it's a privacy issue, I guess, to an extent. Um, but it, it's one of several ways that affiliate programs are tracked. And with affiliate programs, you get paid anywhere from 5 to 150% typically for each sale that you generate. And you may wonder how you can get paid more than 100% for making a sale. The answer there is there are people who've looked at the lifetime value of their customer and said, well, I can afford to give away more than the initial sale made because I know that I'm going to make it back eventually. So I want to really incentivize this person. So if they sell my $10 ebook, I'll give them $15. And, and that sounds really attractive to them. So there are merchants who do that, but that's not the norm. Uh, in, in internet marketing, it's very common for people to give 100% commission these days, though. Uh, and affiliate programs are risk-free for the merchant, since the merchant only pays for results. They give you a link to share, and when you, as the affiliate, share the link, they pay your commission. But other than that, they don't pay any commissions. Some pay for referrals, uh, or like uh, what uh, Will mentioned, calls for action programs where you may just get someone to fill out a form uh, requesting a quote on insurance, something like that. And just from that, you get paid for getting them to fill out a form. So there are affiliate programs that pay for referrals, too. Um, my slides shoes go backwards. Um, Affiliate program is also good for the affiliate sense. As an affiliate, you really don't need to have a website. You could just share the link that the affiliate program owner gave you. You don't need your own product. You don't need to create a product. You can sell their product. And, and it's sort of a good thing because now you're not worried about 
product fulfillment. You're not worried about customer service. You're not worried about all the technical issues of running a website. You can just share a link on Facebook and from that make money. You don't need a list. Uh, it's good to have a database, as I'll explain later, but you don't need one. You don't need name recognition. And, and you may wonder why I mentioned that. Uh, the reality is that when you're famous, when you have a big name and people know who you are, it's actually easier to sell things. People just assign a certain authority to you based on the fact that they recognize your face or recognize your name. So there, there is an advantage to having name recognition, but you don't really need it to, to uh, sell affiliate products. And you basically get paid just for spreading the word about others' products. It can be as simple as writing a product review on your blog or sharing a link, uh, showcasing a product. Uh, for example, many of us, we, we go to uh, Amazon or we go to eBay and we see something we really like. It's natural to just grab that product link and share it on Facebook or on Twitter or on LinkedIn or on our blog saying, I really like this ring or this wedding dress or whatever. Well, if you were using an affiliate link from Amazon, you would get paid a commission if someone clicked through and bought that item. And that's how easy affiliate marketing can be. And uh, again, I've been doing this since 1996 and make quite a bit of money from doing it. It's very profitable. Why is giving away free content the key to building an online income? Though? Let's, let's look at that. Will said he's been doing it from the beginning. Giving away free content builds relationships. And in, in online marketing, it really is all about the relationship. Uh, people buy from those they know, like, and trust. You know, if you think about why you frequent certain restaurants or nightclubs or why you buy from certain stores, it's because you enjoy the experience of being around those people. You enjoy the, the, the way that you're treated in that store. Uh, it, it's a relationship you have with that shop owner. It's, 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 you feel like you're part of that community. And, and you really do buy from people that you like and that you trust. Trust is probably the hardest thing to, to build on the Internet, and yet it's one of the most important things because most people, when they first buy things on the Internet, they're, they're worried that they're going to stick their credit card number into some form and something bad's going to happen. So it's critical that you, you build trust, and giving away free content builds that trust. And people also buy on the recommendations of friends. If a friend recommends a restaurant they visited that you haven't been to, then you're more likely to check it out. If they recommend you go to a certain clothing store, you're more likely to check it out than you would on your own. And it's the same online. So, again, you need to start building those relationships. G giving away free content is also a good way to build a list. We, uh, in Internet marketing, use what we call squeeze pages, which are pages where uh, before an individual can download our ebook or our software or whatever, they have to fill in a form giving us their name. And then we give them the, the product as a, or the gift as a bribe, basically, for joining our list. And the reason you want a list is because the money, as we say, is in the list. It, it, the average website surfer will visit your website, may like it, may bookmark it, but the odds are that they will never come back, even if they were thrilled with the experience. They, they plan on going back, but billions of pages out there on the Internet, the odds of them you know, actually coming back to most websites is virtually non-existent. Now, some will bond with you, but some people will just jump from site to site to site, and they are not looking for anything in particular, uh, so they will never come back unless you remind them of who you are and where you're at. So you want to be able to get their email address, and then every so often send them a newsletter or some useful content related to the topic of your website, remind them of who you are and pull them back in. And you can also send those emails out and tell them about products or services that you sell. Uh, and uh, that's what I do. I, I send them content, teaching them things, but I also send them reminders of products that I sell. And for example, my cooking list, I send them recipes every day that are actually from the list members, They're not my own recipes, but every day that list has a sponsor advertising advertisement at the top and the bottom, and that has driven uh, over $100,000 in cookbook sales every year since I wrote this book in 2000. It's just a simple cookbook I wrote. So it's a very profitable model. And with the list, the profits are actually at the back end, as I've already pointed out. The first sale that you make is called the front end sale. Everything after that first sale is called the back end. And a customer who learns to trust you is actually going to make most of the money that you earn from them on the back end. They're going to buy from you over and over and over again, provided you offer them products and services that they actually need. And so, 
Again, the profits in the back end, and it's a lifetime value of the customer that matters much more than that first transaction. And so that's why so many affiliate program owners actually give away all of the money on that first transaction. They don't care. They want to get the person on their list so they can follow up with them. Every successful internet marketer follows these principles. Others eventually go out of business because they try to do things their own way instead of doing things that are already proven. As Will mentioned, he gives away a lot of content. When I first came online, we had the saying, give, give, and then take. You give tremendous, overwhelming value first. You, like when I, I'm in the internet marketing arena, so I would teach people things to help them build a successful business. And then I would offer them the services and tools they needed to build that business faster. But if I, don't, if I didn't teach them to do it properly at the beginning, then the chances were that most wouldn't be around long enough to need the other products that I, I sold. And uh, they may have been right from the start, but a lot of them didn't have the money at the beginning. And so if they could stick around and start earning a little money, then they could buy the, the, the better tools they needed to make them more capable of doing their, their business more efficiently. So deliver overwhelming value first and, and give and give and then uh, take, which is to offer them something for sale. Let's look at why leveraging off other people's content is so powerful. For most of us, creating content, uh, articles, ebooks, audios, videos, graphics, uh, it, it's hard work. I, I, the, the majority of people I talk to online don't feel very comfortable writing. I love writing, as, as Will seems to, but most people don't seem to like writing. I, I'm horrible at graphics. I feel comfortable in front of a video camera or an audio. And so I can create a lot of content, but most people don't feel very comfortable with it. And if you can use other people's content, then you don't have to worry about creating all this stuff. Many people are actually quite happy to have you share their content and will even reward you for doing so via an affiliate program. And that's what we're going to talk about a little, in a little while with loyalty pays. The, the reality is you're already sharing content every day on Facebook, on Twitter, Twitter on Pinterest, where you're just sharing all these pictures that other people have posted online. I do it on LinkedIn. So if you're already doing it, why not get paid for just having fun online, sharing and hanging out with your friends on Facebook or on Pinterest. Uh, and, and Loyalty Pays lets you do this with just a few clicks of a mouse. And we'll, we'll explain all that to you shortly. What is Loyalty Pays anyway? I know that a lot of you have heard us mention it several times. We'll sort of got into it in the beginning, but uh, what loyalty pays is, is um, well, first of all, I said get with the person who referred you, and that's because this recording is going to be made available to our members, and so our members can use it to tell people about what we're covering today, but we want you also to make sure you use their link when you go to check out the site. That's why I said get with people. But loyalty pays is a site with tons of rebrandable content that you can share and earn a commission when you share that information, that content, and it generates either a sale for the content provider or a referral, and the referrals often can just be to the website because, as Will mentioned, if you refer someone to loyalty page and they join, even as a free member, you get paid a dollar for that referral. That's uh, pretty powerful stuff. And, and all of our content can send people back to loyalty pays. Now, now, now let's look at the, the website itself. And, um, again, if you're watching this, as recording, I, I would ask you to use the link of whoever referred you to the, uh, the presentation. Let me see if I can find the site. There we are. And, and this is where uh, Heidi and Will, I welcome you to uh, jump in at any point. But when you go to loyaltypays.com, this is the home page you're going to see. And uh, I'm basically just going to go down the page. You can see over here, it says you can get started in three easy steps. It says go to library, brand any ebook, image, or video with your affiliate ID, and you'll get that when you join Loyalty Pays. And then you just share the content. You share that ebook, you share that image, you share that video wherever you want to. And when you do, and someone uh, responds to it, you earn a commission. And I, get, I had people actually prior to the webinar ask, well, how much can you make? from doing this? Uh, and the answer is, I guess, it depends upon how proactive you are. And, and you know, it, it's a matter of presenting content to people who are interested in that content. But I, I noticed on the site here that we've got Lance and said he's made more money uh, with loyalty pays than he ever did with 297 997 even $1,997 coaching programs over the years. And so 
just by sharing content, he's making a lot of money. Uh, and then you have Erica here who says that she made $55 after only one hour of joining loyalty pays. I'm sure what she did was sign up and then start sharing content. And it, it really is that easy. Uh, there are basically two types of membership. One is a free membership. You, you join and it costs you absolutely nothing. And this gives you access to 300 rebrandable uh, publications. Uh, ebooks, videos, and images, and then plenty of tools and resources to help you to build your online business without selling anything. All you're doing is sharing content. Uh, Willie, if, if, I could, uh, if I could just uh, jump in there Absolutely. Um, on, uh, on the issue of how much money can you make. I, th I think the, the comment you made was, was spot on. It is a question of, of how proactive you are. Um, but I, I think since last September, I mean, I actually, I'll just, let me just, let me just uh, get my spreadsheet up here. Just, okay. just give me one second. It's right here on my desktop. Um, so just looking at the loyalty pays uh, income. Uh, so when th the first three months I was in the program, the pricing structure was different. So right. I, was, I was earning about $1,000 a month through this program. Um, but then the pricing structure changed because Heidi wants to play about with um, uh, with membership uh, fee levels, and, and she did some special offers in the first uh, first few months. So in, in the first month that it, it was really properly rolling, uh, and, and I don't consider myself to be um, uh, you know anything out of the ordinary, really. You know, I, I don't. You know, I, I really, I really genuinely don't. I just think you know, I'm not like you, really. You know, I'm not, not a <laughs> I mean, millions of millions of dollars a year yet <laughs> I, I I did actually set myself a, a financial goal this year to to earn a million dollars within this calendar year, so that is a serious goal that i 'm having that is, that's goal. almost three thousand dollars a day yeah, well, you know we've still got six months left to go, but just looking at the loyalty pays income, I mean really for me, it started in January, and I earned four hundred dollars. And then February 421, March 516, April 875, May 799. So the thing, the thing that's most exciting about that, is it's not really the um, uh, the level of the income; it's that it's growing. You know? <laughs> and uh, if I found something like this 10 years ago, I would be a millionaire now. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> So um, I think I mean I don't know if you if you know the story about the uh, the chessboard. You know that that uh, that old uh, oh no I don't Chinese story about the the guy who he does a, a favor for an emperor and the emperor says well you know what what can I give you as a reward and and he basically says well I'd like um, a piece of rice on the first square of the chessboard. And then on the second ch uh, square of the chessboard, I'd like you to double it. And on the next square, I'd like you to double it again. And, uh, you know, and do that for all 64 squares. And the emperor thought this is very, you know, very reasonable request, so he grants it. And, and as they begin to, to do this doubling and, you know, putting more and more rice on these squares, pretty soon the entire chessboard is covered with rice. And then the entire palace is full of rice. And uh, it, it's an amazing, amazing analogy. Uh, to uh, to the viral process. So if you've got those two things going for you, if you've got income coming in and you've got growth, you know it's it's unstoppable. And and I think that's what the for me when when I just look at my my I'm looking at my my spreadsheet here now, and and I can just see you know nice steady month on month growth. So that's what's uh, that's what's so exciting about it. So. In response to that question, how much can you earn? There's, you know, there is no top limit. Of course, that's true. But uh, you know, I think it's very realistic within a within a short uh, time frame to be earning a thousand or two thousand dollars a month. I do too, and uh, and that's not a you know no small amount. So it, it's uh, it's very respectable, and uh, most people would be happy with that. In fact, I look at the average income in America. And um, considering that you're just sitting at home playing with your computer, or even at work <laughs> playing with your computer, uh, it, it, uh, it it's quite respectable, you know, just sharing information. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And and I, I do think, um, to a large extent, it is like like playing, isn't it? You know, because you know, you're as you said earlier, you know. 
pe people are doing this stuff anyway with Pinterest and Facebook and Twitter, uh, and they're enjoying themselves doing that. Well, you know, why not actually post a link to um, a re you know using the rebrandable material? I'll just tell you a, a little, just a, a little something. I've just been doing some videos for for loyalty pays, which uh, Heidi will be releasing soon. You know, showing people how to use the uh, membership area. And uh, while I was while I was doing the video, I have I have in addition to my normal account, I have a, a demo account. And uh, Heidi likes me to use the demo account because it looks like um, you know looks like uh, the same the same as a a, a a member would see. Right. So I'm using the demo account, uh, and I was just just demonstrating. You know, this is just a demo account. And I'm just demonstrating how to use Twitter and whatever, you know. And I, I send out a tweet, and then what do you know? I look in my account, and somebody's flipping signed up, and I, yeah, and I've I've actually earned a dollar straight away. You know, it's it's really is as simple as simple as that. Um, I mean, I don't want to make it sound sound, you know. I'm not trying to say that it's it's, it's you know it's not complicated, but. I also don't want people to, to run away with the idea that they're going to be a millionaire by next week. It takes time. It's, you need to be patient. But it's not rocket science, you know. Well, it, it's, it's all about sh just sharing content. And as it says on the page, a simple concept of sharing information. Uh, uh, Facebook exceeded 1 billion users, registered users, I think it was, last September. And that's like one out of every seven people on the Facebook planet. Uh, so while most of these people weren't accessing the Internet, through computers, they were using uh, handheld devices, smartphones, and things like that. They could still access and share information. They, they, people who don't have access to computers are still on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn, and they are sharing things with each other. And so this is very powerful. And every day, millions of people hang out on these sites and they connect with friends. I, I was there earlier today on Facebook, posting pictures from uh, when my grandchildren visited me and we went out to a restaurant and. I must have received 50 comments on just the pictures of, that I shared with my grandchildren. People bond with you. They, they feel like they know you better, and, and it builds that relationship to share things. And you know, the things you share uh, with loyalty pays are, are, are things that you see that motivate you, that inspire you, that, that somehow move you, or you know, just things that you want to share. And you know, the, the question here is, how do you, how can you, uh, can free content make money? Uh, there's a, an entire library of content at Loyalty Pays that educates. Uh, like for example, I've done uh, several videos that teach different things pertaining to internet marketing, in particular, um, you know, how to get traffic, how to build a list, how to do, how to create products, things like that. Uh, I've noticed there is one person who shares recipes. So again, educating. Uh, people love to be entertained, and so there's content that entertains and empower. There's motivational, inspirational, all kinds of content their own loyalty pay and all you do is rebrand it with your own affiliate ID uh, and then you can use that content if you blog, you can post it on your blog, you can post it on Facebook and Pinterest boards, you can share it you know any but a dozen different ways and all those ways allow you to, to earn a commission. Um, and I'm just scrolling down the page, but it says it's copy and paste easy. So all you need to do is to enter your affiliate ID. You get that when you register at Loyalty Pays. Uh, and and um, your Loyalty Pay, it says enter your affiliate ID. That's in the case of where you uh, see a piece of content you want to share, and the product owner has an affiliate program. There's a link within Loyalty Pay next to that product, where you can click on that link and go and sign up for that product creator's or the contributors um, affiliate program. You get their link and then you plug it into the form on loyalty pays and when you click brand uh, the, the, the affiliate link is now embedded within that PDF or uh, that MP3 or whatever and so at that point you have the option of downloading the rebrandable file and, and uploading your server and passing it around that way or even attaching it to emails or you can embed it in your blog by simply copying and pasting some code that you paste into your website, or you can just copy the link to the file uh, that's at Loyalty Pays and just share that on Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn. All of those three methods work, and so you choose how you want to share it, but it's as simple as that, and uh, it, it points out right here that um, you can quickly submit the uh, branded content to over 100 social media sites with a single click of a button. There's a share this tool. 
uh, with then loyalty pays that once you branded something, you just click on that and it lets you choose which site you want to post to. So it's very easy. Just right there within the page, when you see something that uh, you like and you'd like to share, you can sign up for the affiliate program if you want to. You can brand it with your affiliate link and then you share it either of those three ways, downloading it and sharing it that way, embedding it in your blog or your web page, or just copying the link and sharing it. Either of those three ways will make you a commission when someone clicks through to either the loyalty pay site or the uh, product owner site, the contributor of that content site. And uh, another question, which is always a good question, is where does the money come from? You know, when I look at anything I'm selling online, I want to know how the money flows because you know, that, that tells me that you know, this is the real deal, if you will. Um, so it points out basically you earn two types of income. You earn the affiliate commission from products and services recommended inside a publication. Uh, and these aren't just internet marketing products. They're top quality products from a variety of niches. Uh, I mean, all kinds of niches, not just marketing. I mean, they're health related issues. There's inspirational, motivational, spiritual, all kinds of issues within, all kinds of uh, niches within the site. And so you just pick whatever interests you, okay? And then when you rebrand a product or a piece of content and you share it um, and you earn a commission, that commission goes directly to you. Uh, royalty pays doesn't take any commission off the top. It goes directly to you. So that's very powerful. And then as well as I already mentioned, royalty pays pays a referral commission. Whenever uh, says so a referral occurs whenever someone joins our site via royalty pays referral link. So when you're rebranding a, a, a piece of content, again, you're uh, entering your affiliate ID and you're entering Royal Pay's referral ID, and then you just pass the content around. Everything is easy. Uh, you don't have to sell. You don't have to feel you're pressuring anyone into buying anything. If they like something or it appeals to them, and they just want to check it out. They go up to the site and they sign up. It says, how can you use this to build your list? Uh, you can uh, offer that free piece of content as an incentive to join your list. So say you found an ebook on the loyalty pay site that you really like. You could download that, upload it to your site, uh, and offer it to people from your site with a squeeze page, as we call it. So they've got to join your list in order to get to the content. And it's building a list, and then you're giving away something that costs you nothing in the first place. Uh, you can do the site, you can do something similar on Facebook and on on your timeline and your pad pages. Uh, you can just use the content on Facebook, on the timeline, on fan pages. So all these are different ways to, to monetize uh, different types of, especially social media sites, uh, discussion forums, um, even your newsletter. You can share links and content from loyalty pay in your newsletter. So it's all, all very powerful and pretty easy. And as you visit the loyalty pay site, you'll notice this big Get Started Today button. This button is for people who that first button is for people who want the free membership. It costs you absolutely nothing to join. Okay, but we do have a, a premium membership, and premium members get uh, more benefits. Uh, I mean, that's why it's called premium. Uh, so premium members get access to over 500 publications, and I think that number is quite a bit higher than that right now. Um, premium members earn more affiliate commissions, uh, so they have access to more publications. And most more of those publications have links that can be rebrandable. Uh, they earn twice as much via the loyalty pay referral program for the same amount of effort. Uh, and loyalty pay pays pays premium members 50% of the monthly recurring fee. So when when a, when a premium member upgrades and they tell others about loyalty pays, and that person instead of taking the free membership, elects to take the premium membership, and they're paying a, a monthly fee for the premium membership. Whoever referred them, if they are a premium member, gets 50% of that monthly recurring commission. And, and it's very nice. And uh, a, a lot of people do come in as a premium member because premium members are also allowed to upload their content to be shared, uh, which is, is very powerful, especially if you like, own an affiliate program or you sell your own product. You could create a free ebook or, or, or any of that content, make the links in it rebrandable, and let people send you uh, traffic. Let people make referrals to you. Let them join your affiliate program just by downloading something from Loyalty Pay, Pays and rebranding it. So it's very powerful. And 
you know, as a premium member, you basically only need to refer, you're getting a 50% commission, so if you refer to premium members, your premium membership is basically free, and, and it's not very difficult to refer to premium members. I, I think I did it within a day or two of joining, I don't know. Um, let's see. It mentions a multiple of tens reward program. You, you get an extra dollar bonus for every free member you refer. Uh, that you need to read about on the site. It's sort of a credit program. Um, and that applies whether the person that you refer is upgraded to premium or not. So it's very powerful. But again, as it says here, premium members can add content to the, to the library for everyone to share it. And to me, that's the power of someone who is a product creator or runs their own affiliate program. You can upload your own PDFs, your own videos, your own images. It's a very, very user-friendly interface. And so it's, it's very easy to upload your content in the proper format, and, and then it's very easy for others to just two or three clicks of a button, pasting in their affiliate code, um, brand something, and then start sharing, and they're sending you sales. I, I watch, as a joint venture broker, where my job is to go out and recruit affiliates for product owners. I watch so many product owners come to me because they're struggling because they can't get enough interested affiliates. Well, with this, you don't even have to recruit affiliates. Uh, royalty pays are doing it for you. All you need to do is offer valuable content, you know, an ebook that teaches something or that inspires or motivates. And it's going to be distributed. And people, when they read it, are going to click through your site. So it's extremely, extremely easy to use. And uh, as far as I hear, it, this is also excellent brand recognition and expert status. When you publish content in, in our library, you'll get your own business or library page, and that'll have your your profile, your image, your, your business logo, and link back to all of your web properties. So uh, right within your profile page, you'll have links to your blog, to your Facebook pages, your Twitter, Google+, YouTube, et cetera. And, so, uh, you, know, and you can add other interesting content, things you want people to know about you to your page on Florida page as, as an upgraded member or a premium member. Very, very powerful. And um, let's see what else. It, it says here, don't worry about being an expert. It says that's, that does not mean you necessarily uh, have to be the absolute best. It simply means you know more than most about a certain subject and that you're willing to share that knowledge. And the reality is that no matter who you are, there are certain topics that you know more about than probably 98% of the people on the planet. I mean, it may be something about gardening or cooking or raising children or pet care or whatever, but there's some topic that you know more about than um, anyone else on the face of the planet. See, and I'm seeing a suggestion here that click on the library tab at the top and show uh, the content that's available, which is a good idea. Let me go back up. Because the next, the only other thing on the page is the button for you to upgrade. Uh, to the uh, premium membership. So let me see if I can scroll back up. I have, I have to move things around because uh, I have a lot of things that you can't see on the screen. Uh, but here is on the home page, uh, there's a visit our library button. Um, I'm going to, well, there's two ways of doing it. Uh, I could log in and show you what members see, but I'll just do it this way. Um, this is a library, and uh, it shows the, the categories here. Body, mind, and spirit, advertising and traffic, uh, affiliate marketing. I'm scrolling a little fast. Let's see, uh, art and design, um, business, cooking, dating and relationships, do it yourself and craft, environment, family and kids, film, music and books, gardening, reading cards, health and fitness, how to tutorials. Internet marketing, list building, pets and animals, photography, positive quotes, travel, technology, sports and recreation, social media, and uh, video marketing, women in business, and other. And um, since other is not um, something that immediately tells us what comes to mind, it's probably a catch-all. So why don't we just glance at what's in the publication category for others? Um, it shows humor. Uh, and these are uh, cartoons that you can share. Um, and there's stuff about uh, space. And it says, Fraser, Fraser Crane of the Universe and 
It's about inconsistencies in biblical arguments. So there's all this, all this content. Um, uh, there, it'll, it shows you the most popular categories and, and the stuff that's, that others are sharing. Um, like Jack Canfield uh, has this is a presentation by Jack Canfield, one of the co-authors of Chicken Soup for the Soul on the secret to success. And with all of these, you can see down here, uh, there's a button that lets you preview the, the video or preview the image. And then after you, you're happy with it, uh, as a member, you just click the rebrand button. And uh, hopefully that won't take too long. <laughs> and uh, it tells you that you're rebranding this video. And if you're a registered user, uh, you should be logged in. And it will automatically plug in your loyalty pay ID number. But right here, uh, it says click here to review our affiliate program terms. And that's because you're also going to sign up for the Product Creators Affiliate Program. And so you read their terms, and you grab your affiliate link. And then when you brand it, it lets you plug in your affiliate link. And the loyalty pay affiliate link is already plugged in automatically. I'm not logged in as a, um, a member because I wanted to show you the outside of the site. But that's how simple it is to, to rebrand something. It says here, Collections. You can see this, this is a Tim Pong's Personal Development Collection. Uh, it says, Rebrand and share my premium self-improvement ebooks and videos that your subscribers, followers, etc. will. And I'm sure well, it says, will expand a little bit. This is his author's page. You, you get a page like this where you brand yourself. You see he's got links to some of the social media, things like his YouTube channel. So you're making all these ways for people to follow you. And then um, he asks you to rebrand his stuff. And says your followers will love. I knew that was the word that was missing. This link here is, if you click on that, it shows you the different social media uh, channels that you can share as well as the share button, which opens a whole bunch more. It's like about 100 of them that was already mentioned. But the most common ones, the most of the shares anyway, are Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. But you can also, with this button, email something to someone, and it shows you a shortened link, but that link, actually the site recognized that I'm logged in because it's read the cookie on my machine. So it says, hi, Willie Crawford, share this with your friends. So I can share uh, this, and it says, not you, as in if I was on somebody else's machine or whatever and didn't realize it, um, I wouldn't be sending as them. I would just log out. But uh, it recognized that my computer, that I'm a member, and so it's letting me share Tim's collection with others and get credit for it. And um, you, know, you can put a lot of things on your page. That's what I'm basically showing here. Um, and this shows some of the things from Tim's library. You can see he's a fairly active member. Uh, so you yeah, you you say you said though, uh, Willie, that you you can put a lot of things uh, into the library, and and that's absolutely true. You don't even have to be the author. You know, you can actually take uh, YouTube videos and, uh, and 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 post them up there. Right. You just have uh, to give proper credit to the the um, copyright owner, typically. Yeah, yeah. And, I think uh, you know Heidi, Heidi's more of an expert on how all of that works than than I am, but. This was a development to the loyalty pays original concept, where you know you can actually, you know, obviously if you have appropriate rights. But people who who post their videos up on on YouTube for public sharing are essentially granting those rights, and you can actually distribute, you know, videos that way through loyalty pays and uh, and and get a benefit of it. You know, if somebody if somebody posts one of your videos on rebrands one of your videos and puts it on their site, there's actually a link back there to your site. You know, in addition to the um, get paid to share button, which enables the person who's sharing the video to earn referral commissions, there's actually a link back to the originator's website. So when I was looking at this the other day, I thought, actually, this is a really good way of building links, you know, if, if, which in my case would be a strong motivator for me, me beginning to submit videos to the program. I've, I've concentrated on ebooks so far, oh, absolutely. but I've got, I've got a shed load of uh, a shed load of videos. I'm, uh, I'm, you know, going to upload for that reason. You know, as they proliferate, they will, um, they'll be naturally building links back to my website. And when the reason that's important for the listeners who don't, don't know is that. Google, in ranking any site, and Google is the largest source of free traffic out there as far as search engines are concerned, uh, they, part of their formula or algorithm is to look at how many links are 
coming from other sites to your sites, which is sort of a recommendation. And they also look at the authority or how popular, how big uh, the sites are they're coming from. So they have links coming from sites like YouTube or CNN.com or something like that, or a loyalty page. Those links carry, carry more credence than links from unknown sites. And so the more links you have, the better, and the more authority the sites have that link to you, the better. And so you do want to build lots of links, and this is an easy way to do it. And you can see, uh, I know some of these people, like Steve uh, Seibold, uh, he, he's written books on how to be a world-class uh, performer, you know. And uh, so I, I really love this motivational material. And this is a video that he did where I could see myself sharing it with uh, my followers on, on uh, Facebook, especially the ones that are on a page that's primarily for business people. You know, it's a, I, I have numerous uh, fan pages on Facebook, and some each one has a different purpose. I have a cooking Fan page, and uh, there. Um, see, I, I know there's several people who share recipes, for example, and I've actually um, shared uh, some of those recipes with my followers. Uh, I don't know what category that would be under. Oh, cooking. You, you know, can uh, use the search search box really as well. Ah, right here. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I've actually, you know, looked at some of these recipes, and um, they were by Smiling John, which is this author. And you, you see something that you like, like this Cajun chicken Alfredo, and you click on it, and you um, you rebrand it, and then you share it, whatever, like on Facebook or Pinterest. So you know, people look at that. I mean, that's absolutely ideal. If you if you if you've got a, a you know a, a blog on. Uh, and on recipes or cooking or something, just just look at the amount of material there is there for you to to make use of. You know, rebrand it. You're giving away value. People will enjoy watching those videos, and a percentage of that traffic is going to click on the little link that says "Get Paid to Share This." And you know, every one of those that signs up, if you're a premium member, you earn a dollar straight away. And when they upgrade, you know, you then get paid recurring commission. So it's a fantastic way of working if you're a blogger. And, and not just with videos, with images as well. Just think how many times when, when we're blogging, you know, we want, a, we want a relevant image to go with a blog post. Well, Loyalty Pays is full of that type of content. And, and I wanted to show you one other thing, which is uh, if you are an affiliate marketer and you say sell things on ClickBank, um, you go to the search box here and you click on type in ClickBank and search and it'll show you products that are on ClickBank. Actually, it, it saw that I was in the recipe category, and so I think that's why it showed me this cookbook uh, for ClickBank. That's my white belt book, no so less. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that, is, that is pretty cool. Uh, but, you know, so this ebook is rebrandable, and when you distribute this low carb recipe book uh, to your your blog audience to your Facebook audience, uh, and they like it. Uh, I'm sure somewhere embedded within the book is something about the fact that you can purchase uh, products from uh, White Dove Books. And when they make a purchase, you're in a commission via ClickBank. And you'd have to have a ClickBank account, which is which takes your money to set up, and then that money goes directly in your ClickBank account. And my ClickBank account makes a deposit to my bank account every week, direct deposit. So. Uh, Yep. And so, uh, just as a quick advert, we pay 75% commission. <laughs> <laughs> excellent, excellent. Let's see. Um, well, I've looked at categories. Um, I wonder if Heidi wants to point out anything to the, the uh, listeners. Um, Do you want to come on, Heidi, or you just prefer listening? <laughs> Hello. Okay, well, as many of you know, I'm quite tired. That's why I tried oh. to stay in the background. But we'll, uh, if you click on the Visit Our Library tab again at the top, and then try the click fan search again, it will bring you up all of the publications that have a click fan. Uh, a referendum. Oh, recipe. OK. Because I was in the recipe category. Or I was yeah, in the recipe. so when you, when you dive into a category, then the library Kind of, kind of narrows it down to that category, but you can always start over. So you've got all these books 
uh, ebook. Yeah. Basically, that you can pass out. I mean, Think and Grow Rich. This is the original 1937 version of Napoleon Hills, and I'm sure that this young lady uh, has created a derivative or something related to the law of attraction. And so, when you yeah. offer her products, uh, you you um, make a nice commission from that. Um, a bit further down, we should see Will Edward Hooks and several other... Ah, okay. It says click to view more results. <clears throat> and there's videos as well. Yeah. Now, this is Arrington Blackton, I guess is how you pronounce that. His works and <laughs> lots of stuff. Uh, and, and, you know, 50 Positive Life Power Questions video. It's a video. Uh, this is Will's mm -hmm. book. The Gospel According to St. William. I'm not familiar with St. William. Was he a minor? Oh, uh, well, well, um, well, that was me, Will. That, that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I decided. I decided. You know, pe people ask me uh, from time to time. Al although my site isn't uh, targeted at Christians, I, I get a lot of Christians who uh, who follow me. Right. Um, and um, you know, I make I make no bones of, of, about what I what I believe. I don't generally, um, uh, you know, I, I don't kind of uh, target target uh, that market. Right. But pe people nevertheless do ask me, you know, and they ask me for what do you personally believe in? And for years I thought, you know, I ought to write it down. So, so I did. <laughs> and I, I called it, the, I know it, it's a kind of contentious title, but that was part of the, the approach. I yes. Think it, might, uh, it might get people to distribute. That, that title makes perfect sense there. Makes perfect sense. And you can see here's a, an e-book uh, mm -hmm. titled uh, LinkedIn on steroids. Actually, that's a video. That's a video I did with William Mears, who uh, teaches you how to, if you're a LinkedIn member, or if you, you want to be a LinkedIn member or user, how to join specific groups that target your interests, and then how to use that to actually build a list and actually communicate and connect with millions of people that are just in your area of interest. And, and William's a master at doing that. And so he and I did a webinar that I recorded, and that's what this is. This is the rebranded video from that webinar. And when you rebrand it and you uh, share the video, you're basically selling the product that William created, and he pays a commission on that. So, that's, so I've got video here, too. My friend Kevin Riley teaches people how to uh, create products. He's got one called The Bare Naked Truth About Making Money from Your Kitchen Table in Your Pajamas. Kevin's over in uh, Japan. He's a very good friend of mine. I, I really, uh, I, I really, uh, I really like Kevin's stuff. He's a good, he's a good writer. He's a good writer, and he really cares about people. So that carries through. He teaches you step by step how to do things, and yeah. it, it shows in, in his work. But you can rebrand that, and he has a, a variety of products that he sells, uh, very affordably priced. He likes to make stuff, you know, affordable to to everyone, and. Um, so uh, it's very affordably priced, and when you make sales, you'll earn a commission. Uh, and, and you know we've got page after page after page of products. Uh, there's one on raising children who succeed. Who's that by? That's by you. <laughs> Why? <Quite, laughs> uh, or maybe yes, one of your writers. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually. It was actually. Um, it was somebody I paid to paid to write it. It's, ah. um, uh, and if I if I recall, I'm not sure whether she was Australian or New, Ze New Zealand. I think it's certainly Dan Heidi's neck of the woods. Anyway, Rachel Goodchild. Uh -huh. okay. And, and actually, when you look at these uh, pages, it shows that 172 people, I guess, have rebranded the C book. Yeah. And uh, are you have referrals? I guess that's referrals to the royalty pay site. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that shows you that people are reading the ebook. Lots of people are downloading, rebranding it. A lot of them are probably sending customers direct to Will, but 17 of them have come back to Loyalty Pays, and those people, if they joined, earned a uh, dollar each for joining. Uh, yeah. Really? Yes. We, we only started tracking the referrals as of June 1st. Okay. So those, those that pay data of just a few days. Yeah, and Will said he's been a member for a year. So, uh, yeah, that, yeah. That, that, that's uh, that's since impressive. September. <laughs> since September, okay. Since se September, yeah. Okay, so nine months, nine months. And, and um, there's one on harnessing the power of uh, 
Is that bar Baroque? Uh, is one on public Baroque. domain? Public domain Bar profits? Is yes, it's it's a Baroque music. Well, you know the Mozart effect. Oh, okay, okay. I, I like Mozart, but I didn't know what it was called. <laughs> I, uh, but uh, here's one on public domain pro profits, which I'm very familiar with. In public domain works or anything that either certain governments created or certain entities created, and uh, because of the age of it, the copyright expiring, anyone can use it. And so if you know what you're doing, you can take something that was written 40, 50 years ago or even a century ago and, and release it as your own. <laughs> and I, I do that I all wrote, the time. Uh, I wrote that book uh, a, a good number of years ago, many years ago. And uh, it was just, you know, one of my, uh, it, it's not a, not a very lengthy book and it was just something I was giving away. And then one day when I was on Google looking at where all the links were coming from my site, I, this, this book was enormously popular. So I rewrote it. <laughs> and, uh, and it's in Loyalty Pays. Excellent. Excellent. And I, I know people who uh, earn their full-time income from um, taking yep. public domain works yep. and creating derivatives in particular. Where yep. uh, do you know of uh, Rebecca Fine, for example? Yes. She did. I mean, she, she makes a... Wallace Waddles works. That's it. Yep. Yes. Yeah. In particular, well, I think she she does do um, uh, some of the others, but she's got a site focused around the science of getting rich. Yes. Which uh, I mean, when when I uh, originally came across that book, I mean, I, we we give it away from our site because it's public domain. But right. when I originally came across it, it was at Rebecca's site, and uh, I I instantly bought the um, the. Uh, CD, so I could listen in, in my car, yes. and then I joined joined her course as well. So, you know, it it does work. This stuff. Yeah, she took public domain work, and she took the ideas taught by Wallace Waddle in particular in, the, in that case, the science of getting rich, and she expanded it into an entire product line. Someone else's knowledge from the early uh, 1900s, I guess it was, and she teaches seminars on the concepts taught in public domain work. Is very That's right, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, she's, she's very good, I think, as well. But as you can see, you can see Will has quite a few works in here. There's, there's a lot of things quite Yeah, there, yeah. Right? And you know what, Willie? I've got more coming as well. <laughs> and, and I'm a prolific writer. I should have more things in the library. Uh, and I have, I do have lots of things in the work that I will upload there. But I, as you people can, you folks can see, these are all, it's all works available on Clickbank, all right? I mean, that you yes, earn commissions right, yeah. through ClickBank. So you yeah. earn commissions. They all promote a, they all promote a ClickBank product on the back end, yeah. So uh, this is this very, very powerful. We've actually gone for about uh, an hour. That was about what I told people to expect. So what I want to do is see what questions perhaps our listeners have. Again, if you just go to loyaltypays.com, you can sign up for the membership. But if a member, one of our existing members, told you about the site, I request that you use their referral link so they get credit for the referral. Otherwise, uh, we'd love to have you as a member. Uh, and um, if you have any questions, please uh, type them into the question box. And all of the panelists should be able to see the questions. And while we're waiting for questions, Will or Heidi, feel free to add any, any comments, observations, things that I missed. I, I've actually run through the slides I had. and second part of the presentation was showing the site and, and seeing what questions people had about it. Well, I think it was uh, pretty comprehensive, uh, Willie. Um, but, uh, you know, I think uh, the main thing to understand, and, and that sometimes people struggle with when they first come across loyalty pays, is that there are two levels of membership. There's a free membership and a premium membership. So you can earn commission as a free member. You earn 25% recurring commission, you know, as a, as a free member when somebody else joins and becomes a premium member. So it's, you know, and, and in addition, of course, you earn affiliate commissions. So even as a free member, you know, you can, this can be a very lucrative program for you. But once you get people, um, once you start earning money, it just it's just an it just makes no sense not to upgrade your own account because because it doubles the commission that you make. You're suddenly making fifty percent commission rather than twenty five, and of course you're earning those one dollar bonus uh, payments for ev for every free member that signs up. So that, you know, in a nutshell, that that's it really. It's that, that idea of the two levels of membership.
They both are in commission, but the premium membership is twice as much than you earn as in dollar commissions. And I, I am actually seeing a few questions in the question box. I, I don't know which order they came out of me to answer that. Uh, the last question I ask, uh, what does a premium membership cost? And I know that's changed a couple of times. Are we running a special right now on, on memberships, Heidi? Okay. Uh, the um, if, if you're a free member and you upgrade, it's forty-eight fifty. If you upgrade from within the membership area, but uh, we do have a special um, right now. It's on the special offer page, uh, which uh, we can uh, point you to, and it's thirty-seven dollars there. So, so the, it's thirty-seven dollars per month for the membership, and uh, if you if you join as a free member first, and there's an upgrade from within the site. So, uh, yes. Um, and premium members get 50% commission on the people that they refer. So refer to the members that it's basically costing you nothing. And, and again, that's per month. John said he wanted to say how nice it is to use loyalty pay, pays as a member and publisher. That's John Francis. And uh, Glenn uh, asked, as a free member, do we get access to all the publications or just select ones? As a free member, you get access to a lot of publications, but we do reserve some for premium members. And someone said, Heidi mentioned in an email that there might be a publisher's bonus too. Uh, and they wanted, oh, that's Don, he wanted that explained. Well, are you familiar with the publisher's bonus? I, I think Heidi's the, the best person for that question, Will. Okay, and, and um, yes, we are, we are um, working on release adding a new bonus just for publishers, um, which is going to work like this. Uh, you will earn one dollar for every premium referral that is generated via one of your publications. Um, you can be the author of the publication, but you don't have to, uh, to earn this uh, one dollar bonus. Um, what it means is that if you publish a, a publication and some a, another member that is not one of your referrals shares it and through the publication there you know, a, a person signs up and then upgrades the premium you will receive an extra one dollar per month because your content was valuable and attracted a new member to our site. So I, I, I think I think that's a brilliant idea. I think really think it's a brilliant idea, because it's rewarding the the content which is you know which which is most shared. Uh, I think it's just a brilliant idea. Um, okay. And Heidi was worried about uh, how clear she sound because it's raining where she's at and there's a little noise there. But you you sound clear. The other question we're getting that Heidi needs to probably answer is, the person's asking about the price again that thirty seven dollar special. Uh, and they're wondering uh, how long would that go on? It's uh, a month. I it's a monthly. It's, I'm, I'm sorry. It's I, thirty-seven dollars for a month, but they're, I guess they're trying to find out how long the special will be available. Oh, I see. Uh, right. Well, the the special offer is uh, presented to new members. At the moment, they join, um, okay. Okay. and then if you bypass that offer then you can you have the opportunity to upgrade at any time um, but then the price is forty eight fifty from within ah, the that makes sense. So when you first okay. join as a free member, you're offered the a one time offer, the opportunity to upgrade to a premium member for thirty seven dollars per month. If you choose not right. to take it at that time and you upgrade later, uh, then it costs you forty eight fifty per month. Okay, and and this person, I guess, they saw ninety eight dollars somewhere. That was an old price, right? Yeah, it was uh, when the uh, the site was new and Heidi was uh, making uh, uh, testing different price points. I mean, originally Heidi was thinking of ninety seven dollars a month for the for the program. So I think it's an absolute bargain at uh, thirty seven dollars a month. I really do. And I see. No, a I do. I, I think yes. I mean, the membership would probably be worth ninety-seven dollars a month, but 
our idea is to make this um, a tool for everybody to get a chance at succeeding online. That's why the one dollar per free referral is so important to me. That's why giving access to, uh, you know, we, we now have over 1,000 publications in the library. And I know the value of being able to share quality content that I don't have to write or produce in that way, you know, build a new blog, populate it with nice, you know, fresh, interesting content. And that's why we decided, you know, we're going to make the membership affordable because this yep. is about giving a chance to as many people as we can. Yeah, I, and I think the membership is, is set at the right level. Um, it was an in interesting uh, period when we were looking at different uh, price points yeah. because, uh, you know, there are pros and cons of, of uh, different, uh, different prices. But I, I do feel um, that uh, the current, current price is a, a very good value and, um, you know, I, I think it's at the right level. I do too. And another question we're getting about commissions is, uh, John asked, is this just on one level, i.e. you only get commission on the person that you bring in directly, and uh, I'm certain that there's no second level commissions, correct? Like, uh, sorry, that's, that's definitely yes, a question for Heidi. Yes, Lord Pace um, rewards you on your direct reports. Right, okay, good. On one level. And lots of people saying this is great information. Uh, one person asked if I was going to teach a traffic webinar soon. It's actually a recording in the membership area that I've already done mm -hmm. on the traffic webinar. Uh, right. And um, your, your training is also available on the resources page in the members area. Um, Sharon asked if the content can be shared on free blogs. I guess that she means like she does a blog or a blog or whatever. And um, there sh shouldn't be any restrictions there. Uh, some of the sites, like Blogger, discourages you from setting up a commercial blog. And so that means it's up their interpretation as to what is commercial. I mean, there are people who built blogs on blogger.com and had them shut down because blog Blogger said it was too commercial. Uh, let's see. Really, when you think about the cost of a domain and hosting these days, it's, it's absolutely minimal, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, one person asked, what does RBD and REF stand for in the pages? Uh, and I think that the, we, we covered that RBD was how many times the document's been rebranded and REF is how many referrals it's generated. But as Heidi pointed out, that tracking only started at the beginning of the month. Yes, that's correct. Okay. And and we just started tracking that information since June first, so that data is very new. And uh, John, mm -hmm. is, go ahead. <coughs> Sorry. No, you go ahead. S several people ask if it was being recorded. Uh, yes, it is being recorded, uh, and the recording will be available in the, the member area fairly soon, and it'll be one of those pieces of content you can share as freely as you'd like and it'll uh, let you in commissions. And, you know, another thing that I think is quite, um, you know, makes me very happy about what we've accomplished is that the majority of our premium members are staying with a, with, for six months and longer. So that means um, they see the value, they enjoy the program, and you know, and we're on the right path. So, and that's what this is about: building long-term relationships and giving you a, a a tool that you will continue to use because you know there is no reason why not to, like Will said. And in fact, it's it's that very reason that enables you to build not just a monthly income but a growing monthly income. It's the retention, isn't it? Um, so, you know, that's a very important aspect of the, of the program. And uh, the question we got was they're asking about who they should sign up under. Uh, uh, this person says they're looking for someone who has time and expertise to be the best support slash advice. Um, 
the, the reality is that no matter who you sign up under, within Loyalty Page, we give you lots and lots of training. Heidi is constantly sending out emails. We're constantly adding new training to the site. And so there, there's lots of support, support available. So I would recommend you know, signing up through whoever made you aware of the site. There's lots of support that's there. And someone says, uh, where do I go to start building my own library? So, uh, Christina, uh, once you join as a uh, premium member, uh, that, that page is automatically uh, in your, your, your um, back office. Yeah. I, I'm, uh, yeah, that's right. You get, you get, a, you get a business page okay. where you become a premium member. You can edit, edit it and submit publications. I, I just switched to show you my, my dashboard, actually. Uh, first thing you, I'm a premium member, and when you log in, the first thing you see up here is your referral link. This is the publisher's dashboard, and uh, it has accounting, step-by-step -step instructions. It has uh, a button to go to the library and rebrand things. It, uh, there's a button to meet other members. Uh, there's advanced training, reporting other resources and then this button says publish new content. It says add content to our library and this is the button you'd use for that. And there's a button for the help desk. So all of that is within um, your dashboard when you are a premium member. A regular member has some of the same buttons but of course they wouldn't have the button allowing you to, to publish to your library. Okay. And I don't see any new questions coming in. I see um, John says he thinks the new publisher bonus is a great idea for expanding. It's a great new content. Yeah. Okay. So do we have any other questions? Okay. I'm not seeing any new questions coming in. So what I would like to do is encourage those of you on the call or listen to the recording to go ahead and sign up as members. Again, uh, if you were referred by someone else, please use their referral link so they get credit for making you aware of this great site. And if you weren't, uh, just go to loyaltypays.com and, and sign up. Uh, and we, we welcome you. Uh, again, lots of training inside the site, and we regularly add new content to the site. So if, even if you're joining as a free member, there's lots of content that you'll be able to distribute. You could log in every day and find something to pass along, find numerous things to pass along that your followers on Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn would absolutely love with Pinterest. Lots of great pictures. So it is, you will have lots of content to share and all that content has the potential to earn you money. So uh, go ahead and get signed up. Um, John's asking will there be another meeting like this in a month or so. Um, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know when the next meeting is planned, but we, we regularly have um, training sessions. Yes, our goal is to have one webinar for each month. And now that we completed all the upgrades of all the areas of the site, we will focus a lot more on this side, on, on training and, and bringing on guest speakers. Like today, we have Willie Crawford, and she's had tremendous source of information and he's a, an excellent teacher and we'll have another event like this with Willie I'm sure and uh, you know uh, or Will Edwards and we will bring on other people that you know would like to share their experience for sure. Excellent, excellent. So uh, with that I'll have been said I'm going to suggest that we go ahead and wrap this up and uh, get the recording up in the membership area as soon as practical. Thank you everybody for coming and thank you Willie for the great presentation. Thank you Will as well and I'll see you in the members area. Thanks everyone. Thank you. Thank you Heidi. Thanks Will.